there guys, my name is Coach Shadlogs the Ball, but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park news room update where today we're going to be chatting all things Wallaby Belgium and today we've got some construction updates via uh, a Facebook page, a Facebook group for theme parks I'm going to give them a shout out and um, we get to show the pictures and this is from their brand new Intamin Mega Coaster that's scheduled to open next year in the 2021 season now from the latest construction we're going to talk all about it but things are visible and we could see some potential coaster track coming in the next few months so before we get started please like comment subscribe click the notification bell so you never miss youtube video please share with your friends your family and on social media and make sure you keep getting your questions in guys we're nearly at well we're getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers use the hashtag question before or after your question uh, and those questions will be marked down ready for our uh, question and answer session when we celebrate 2,000 subscribers when we hit that milestone and for now guys let's get into another video so a big shout out to Ethan Brown who is a dedicated subscriber if you want a shout out if you've got any video suggestions comment them down below and let's get into it so this is from Wallaby Belgium we know what's happening now actually correct me if I'm wrong but I think this is the first update we've done on this since the whole coaster was announced now obviously at first this was set to be given like a western theme uh, but from the latest construction update that we spotted online uh, a couple of days ago it's very much going to be a uh, extension to the exotic world area from what we uh, you know saw on the construction update so i want to give a massive shout out to a facebook page called theme park magic i got in contact with them saying can i use these images they say it's absolutely fine thanks for contacting us uh beforehand uh so big shout out to theme park magic uh and what i'm going to do to say thank you to you guys i'm going to link their facebook page in the description down below this video so you guys can go and check out the construction images and more construction images from a lot of different theme parks for yourselves so big shout out to theme park magic for these construction pictures so we're going to put them on your screen now fan dabby dozy and while we do that let's remind our new viewers what we're looking at here for Wallaby Belgium opening in what looks like April 2021 so this is an Intamin mega coaster so if you have no idea what a mega coaster is here's some examples so uh, Goliath at Wallaby Holland Expedition G-Force at Holiday Park uh, Ride of Steel at Darien Lake in Six Flags America, Superman the Ride at Six Flags New England. There's also Coaster Through the Clouds at Nang Chang Sunak Land and Thunder Dolphin at Tokyo Dome City. Uh, so this is basically, this is Wallaby Belgium's answer to a modern day Goliath at Wallaby Holland. So this is their opportunity of a mega coaster. So the length of this uh, is 3,937 feet specifically. So it's nearly 4,000 feet, which is a long long track length a height of 164 feet a speed of 70.2 miles per hour a vertical angle of 80 degrees a duration of 1 minute 30 and 15 airtime points uh, now there is also a um, animation footage which you can look at online uh, there's a few different elements with that as well um, and to be honest, and the capacity of 1080 riders per hour. Now, in terms of the official construction update, uh, there was a piece of writing that was, I think, in Belgian. Um, I was looking, I was using Google Translate to translate this information, and they detected it was Dutch, not Belgian. So uh, I got a bit wrong with that. But basically, for those of you who need a translation of what the page says. Uh, Wallaby Belgium is working hard these days on the construction of their new 50 meter high Intamin mega coaster, which will open next year, so 2021. Uh, this makes the future station building increasingly visible. The roller coaster will be an extension of the theme zone exotic world. The zone opened in 2018, along with other things, the Gerslau family roller coaster Tiki Waka. Uh, so basically, that is what the translated uh, writing says. Uh, so this will be an extension of the Exotic World section, so we don't have a name or a theme for this coaster yet. Um, what I did find online though was some early concepts potentially. Uh, I'm going to put them on your screen right now. Fan Um I, I'm not too sure if that is, um, you know, what the finished one will be, correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like that is the theme they're going for with this, like the the brown fencing and the, the reddish uh, sort of look with this. 
uh, and that you know that's what I found online. That was that was actual concept arts from the World with Belgium uh, mega coaster. Uh, but I'm guessing with those colours, I'm guessing that may be the final uh, look of the. It could be the entrance. It could be like a, a section of land. It could be how they're going to theme the station up. I mean, as you saw from the construction images. Um, you know, it was very much station work, which you know, it's no real coaster work happening yet. There's, there's been some ground, there's been loads of groundwork on the coaster, and you know, they've started to dig up some, uh, put you know, more of the site. But in terms of actual physical vertical work, it's very much station based. Uh, now, of course, there have been complaints on the forums about, you know, this could be a prefabricated sta station, which is very hard, of course, you know, for maintenance wise. Um, Maybe that maybe that concept that I showed you on your screen earlier, maybe that's for um, the station. Maybe they're going to theme that up. So they're going to build the foundation to the station and then theme it up with that kind of theming, maybe. Um, it should be very interesting. It should be uh, an interesting one to watch. So, you know, I'm really excited for this. I cannot wait for this to uh, to get Coaster Track on site. I'm guessing within the next two, three months, we'll get construction of, of the Coaster Track. Um... So like we said before, it is manufactured by Intamin. Now, from what I saw from the animation of the layout, I think this is going to be a very neat addition. So, uh, for those of you who uh, need a reminder of what the uh, layout is going to do, uh, basically with this particular um, coaster, um, in terms of the, the POV and the, the look, uh, of this of this of this mega coaster um, basically from what we know uh, this is it's gonna have a lot of airtime moments don't get me wrong uh, I've put a concept image already on your screen I'm not gonna put the footage on your screen just in case uh, but what I am gonna say is I'm gonna talk you through the layout while you're looking at the concept image and sort of you know getting the um, the feel of it. So this will have the most airtime moments on any steel coaster in the world, which is 15. Uh, worldwide unique coaster elements. Uh, it is going to be the tallest coaster in the Benelux and France. Uh, and it has, and according to the footage, a one-of-a-kind combination of weightlessness and uplifting airtime experiences. Uh, so it's very much a nice combination of a modern-day coaster. So um, obviously we talked about the station construction uh, from the you know 45 if you know 45 50 meter lift hill uh with an 80 degree twist twisting side twisting drop with an 80 degree decline uh, and up to minus 1.2 g's uplifting airtime um which is unique for the benelux uh but we talked about the station we talked about how that was under construction i think it's beginning to take shape now i think if you add that concept onto it if you paint the station up to look like what it looks like in the uh, animation and if you've got the, the theming items from the concepts that I showed you uh, and put them up next to each, uh, put them in line with each other, then that would make sense. So, minus 1.3 G airtime hill, which is 38 meters tall, follows that. Then we've got a maximum outward banking airtime hill, which is 30 meters tall. Um, then up to minus 1.2 G's uplifting airtime, which looks fantastic. Then the world's first non inverted cobra roll with extreme side by side rolling maneuvers. That, my friends, that is an element I am so looking forward to. I'm really looking forward to that element because it's gonna be a very unique element, each delivering no Gs, which is amazing. Airtime hill with uplifting minus 1.25 Gs, a high speed ground hugging curve. Then it goes up into the world's first wall stall uh, with OG's weightlessness airtime, a minus 115 degrees um, overbanked high turn uh, follows that but with that um with that world's first wall store with two sec world's first wall store with two seconds of zero g weightlessness airtime that is going to be an interesting element as well because that's the first time they've done that in the world so you know again it's going to be a very interesting element and then we go into an airtime hill with uplifting minus 1.25 g's a world's first side banked double down with unique airtime experience with lateral forces which is very very nice two moments of minus 0.75 g airtime airtime hill with uplifting minus 1.1 g s curve combination a stengel dive uh, and then an s hump with minus 0.5 g airtime bunny humps with minus 1.3 g uplifting airtime and minus 25 degree lateral uh, airtime um, 
into those brakes. Lateral jump into the brakes uh, with the block brakes afterwards. And of course, that's when the second train comes up. So then there's a 180 degree turn back into the station. Um, and you can see the uh, on-ride perspective of it. Uh, after that footage. There's a video on Looping's YouTube channel and there's loads of other YouTube channels as well so uh, they've all posted the footage from that coaster so those are, that's like a layout breakdown uh, for those of you who you know need the layout breakdown while you look at the concept image um, but yeah very very good layout and I think this is going to be a great coaster so that's just a reminder for new viewers for those of you who need a reminder of the layout um, and breaking it down you know, analysis-wise, while you're looking at the beautiful concept images uh, from the animation, screenshots of the animation, concept image of the uh, coaster itself. Um, but I really love the look of this coaster, and I cannot wait to experience it in the future. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park news update from Wallaby, Belgium. I'll be back with more updates very, very soon. For now, guys, go make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss YouTube video. Keep getting your shout outs, your questions for the QA, your video suggestions as well in the comments down below. And for now, guys, keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.